tasty lips seems the honey there fairly drips it's your confection goodness knows you're my honeysuckle rose yeah Hey, hey, everybody. Welcome to our uh, Crescendo show tonight. Thanks for uh, tuning in, everybody at Token Smart, all the whole family there. Appreciate you all uh, being with us here at Campus Jacks, live in Newport Beach. This is the Meta Jacks, home of crypto jazz. And tonight we have another uh, incredible night with Tony Guerrero. We're going to be enjoying the, not only the music, but also the art on our uh, new video wall, we call the Metapurse window. Uh, thanks to our friends at Metapurse, and it's it's good to have uh, have V Sandarum and the gang back in action after a, a timeout that celebrating Metacoven's uh, wedding. So congratulations to Metacoven, and and I know that they've been uh, celebrating and having a great time together uh, over there on the other side of the world. Anyway, uh, we've got a lot of music tonight. And we just want to uh, remind you of a few things. One is that you can uh, be part of the MetaJax family by holding a TG, Founder's Key. A Founder's Key gets you a JAX token every single day between now and the next seven years. So uh, be part of that. You can go to OpenSea and, and grab yourself uh, one of those, uh, TG's Founder's Key. And then also you can just go to whalestreet.xyz and just pick up uh, a TG just for at, at the floor price. 
Uh, I think it's about, what, uh, 0.07. So now's a good time to get it while ETH is down. Anyway, uh, it's great to have you with us. We're going to enjoy this. Oh, this last uh, Sunday, uh, some incredible music going on uh, here. And so we, we're going to share just a tune from, from the Will Lyle trio from this last Sunday. So Will put together a very special group, two octogenarians, uh, John Mayer, who's just a legendary uh, jazz pianist, 83 years old, uh, Grammy winner, just a, an incredibly talented uh, gentleman at the piano, Roy McCurdy on drums. Now this guy, 85 years old, he lugs his own kid in here. You'd, I mean, you'd think this guy, I mean, he could easily pass for 60. Uh, keeps himself in great shape, but 85-year-old drummer. And then you've got uh, a couple of Gen Z guys. You've got uh, Will Lyle on bass, and, and uh, it was his, his gig. And he's in from New York, so, so he, he put this together for a Sunday night. And, uh, and then we, uh, Brandon Wilkins on sax. So 220-somethings, 280-somethings. So anyway, we're going to share that with you right now. Check this out.
Thank you. Hey, everybody. Well, that ended kind of quickly. Anyway, we're still here. We are live out here, uh, here at the club as people are starting to roll in uh, for tonight's show. We get started here in about 12 minutes. Um, but again, hey, just to remind you, we've got this going on right now. That's our TG's Founders Key. Head over to OpenSea and pick up one of those. It's uh, all kinds of uh, privileges come with that, including a, a, uh, a super special mint of a, of a TG. You, go to, you, you buy one of these and you take it to Whale Street and you can mint your, uh, just your completely one of one original TG. But it's a special one because you'll get a Jax every day for seven years, so can't beat that. Anyway, uh, we've got a lot of other stuff going on here. We've, we've got, let me see what I can show you. Uh, uh, oh, how about that? Uh, go to whalestreet.xyz also. You can still pick up uh, Tawanda's album, you know, uh, from the Crypto Jazz Festival. And here's a little alpha for you. We've got a studio recording with Tawanda that's coming out incredible that we're going to be dropping here in a few, in a few weeks also. And uh, we've, we're going to also fire up the uh, staking again. Um, uh, we, we had a little hiatus on the platform, so the so the the staking uh, so you'll get some Jax tokens you, that you'll earn from staking your your albums, both the Tawanda album and then of course uh, the Arturo Sandoval album. So both of those you can get at uh, Whale Street. X Y Z. But we've got one of our favorite uh, acts that comes through here, An incredible performer singer. She's got great energy. And uh, she leads a, a quintet here. The, this is a show from, a, oh, about a year ago now, uh, when we were still out in the tent during the pandemic. But enjoy a little uh, bit here before we get the live show going. Here's Natalie Hannah Mendoza and her quintet. <laughs> time I looked into them, their eyes. You've got a certain little cute way of flirting with them, their eyes. They make me feel happy. They make me blue. No stalling. I'm falling. Going in a book way for sweet little you. My heart is jumping. You sure started something with them, their eyes. You'd better watch them if you're wise. They sparkle. Working them, there's danger lurking in them, their eyes. We baba da ba do ba ba da ba do you need a boy? Oh ba 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 do you need a diva? Be ba ba do ba do da da ba ba do ba do you be you need a diva? Be ba ba do ba do ba do ba 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 do ba do ba do be you need a diva?
first time I looked into them, their eyes. You've got a certain little cute way of flirting with them, their eyes. Yeah. They make me feel happy. They make me blue. No stalling. I'm falling. But when in a big wave of sweet little you, ooh, ooh, my heart is jumping. You sure started something with them, 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 eyes. You'd better watch them. Jazz lovers! If you were found with your chin on the ground, there's a lot to be learned. So look around. Just what makes that rubber tree plant anyone knows an ant can move a rubber tree plant but he's got high hopes he's got Ladies and gentlemen. Steamers Jazz and Campus Jacks. Happy to have you all here. And uh, for those of you who are uninitiated, uh, I've been doing this here for a few years now. And, uh, I ran Steamers Jazz Club for 23 years under the ground. And uh, I was resurrected by Jack Jasper and yeah, Tim, uh, Ellis Hilton. Just what makes that little old ant? Think he can move? 
rubber tree plant. Yeah. I mean, I can do Anyone better. knows an ant can move a rubber tree plant, but he's got high hopes. He's got high hopes. He's got high apple pie. Anyway, I want to remind you, uh, we've been doing this Thursdays and Sundays, and so you are not Instead of letting go, just remember that food. So tell all the kids that there goes another rubber tree. Oops, there goes another rubber tree. Oops, there goes another rubber tree. She's the coordinator of local tree plant. Yes. Fantastic, lovely woman and singer. I Coming don't up buy on sugar. The 17th movie. You just have to touch my cup. You're not to the Oh, maybe it's the way to make a story. Oh, when I'm taking sips from your tasty lips, seems the honey that fairly drips. Your confection, goodness knows. You're my honeysuckle rose. Thank all the... Jacks.com for tickets for all of our stuff. If you want to help, because we do stream these things everywhere, all, all over the world, go to steamersjacks.com and throw a buck or two in the uh, uh, tip jar. Also, you'll see on Tony's pictures up here, there's a QR code. Scan that, buy it. Let's hear a nice round of applause for Dave Siebels on the piano, keyboard, organ. Dave Miller on bass. On the saxophone's right, Matt Johnson. Matt Johnson. Mark Vischer on the saxophone. QR code right here. They're available. Scan it now. And I know I'm making a fashion statement with this boot, but get a load of that jacket, folks. Tony Guerrero. Tony Guerrero on the flugelhorn. Vocals, trumpet, and all around nice guy. Let's hear from Tony Guerrero, Quintet. Watch your step, Terrence. Watch your step.
Mark Vischer on the tenor saxophone. Tony Guerrero on the flugelhorn, getting warm on the flugelhorn. Dave Siebels, everybody. He brought that from home. down the bottom of the Tony Guerrero Quintet. On the bass, David Miller.
Thank you very much. Hey, uh, Mark and I could use a little bit more of the two horns in the front monitors, please. Thank you for being here, everybody, on a Thursday night right here at Campus Jacks in Newport Beach, the birthplace of jazz music. I know my history. <laughs> that was a song from a great show called uh, Guys and Dolls. Anybody know that show? Musical from 1940-something. And we'd like to do a song for you now that was written um, by the late, great Charles Chaplin. Charlie Chaplin uh, didn't write a lot of music that I know of, but he did write this one. And then uh, I believe he just wrote the melody, and then eventually somebody wrote lyrics to it, and then Michael Jackson recorded it. Right? See, I know my history. This is called Smile.
Thank you very much. That's a great tune. You all know that one, right? Smile. No? We'd like to do an original of the band now that is... You okay over there, Mark? That's a nice new suit, Mark. I said, it's a nice new suit. Have I seen that before? You have. Have I? Oh. <laughs> Everything is new. We like to do an original of the band. This one is uh, one we wrote to kind of try to sound like it was the 1950s Calypso era. And uh, we'd, uh, we call this one Caribbean Cocktail. And it goes more or less like this.
cha cha cha. Cha. That's a Caribbean cocktail. Original composition by the band, apparently. You didn't know? T Tony wrote that, but he was generous to say we. But when Tony says we, he really means me. <laughs> I'm generous with the credit, but not with the royalties. No, 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 no. It's, <laughs> it's tens of dollars you guys are missing out on from that one. <laughs> For the lifetime of the song. <laughs> Well, uh, you know, these, uh, if you've been to Campus Jacks uh, over the last couple of years, you know that these screens on stage are kind of new. And um, I've uh, passed on to Tim Ellis, who's running all that, to a, a bunch of artwork from the mid-century last year that I, I love so much. And uh, so you'll be seeing a lot of artwork like that and some illustrations from a guy named uh, Cliff. Uh, now I'm forgetting his name. No, not Cliff, not Cliff, Cliff Clavin. Cliff Roberts, brilliant uh, illustrator. Oh, there's some of his work right there. That's a good one, right? How can I steal that? Some Jackson Pollock. Just, you know, I, I like the idea that we can uh, share art visually as well. But one of the things that it also allows us to do is show you some images from this next song that we're about to do. And uh, this is the song that I, I first... Now, I don't know if you can pull up this particular slide, but... I found an old album. I like to go into record stores or, and uh, vintage stores and find old vinyl records, primarily from people I've never heard of. And there was this one that I picked up that I had to buy because, as you know, I play the flugelhorn. And there was an... You, you okay over there? There was a, um, an album I found by a guy named Sir Richard and his Flugel Knights. And Sir Richard and his Flugel Knights... Uh, was a band from the 60s that featured two flugelhorns. And so I bought that album, and then I heard this one song, and then I learned that this song was actually the theme from a television show back uh, in uh, 1970 or so. And it was, uh, I, we had to do it, although I think we are the only band in the entire world that performs this particular television show theme song. And we would like to play it for you now. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the theme from ABC's Celebrity Bowling. That's great. Look at those clips and the fat. Is this Charles Nelson Riley? And uh, oh, that's, was there Tammy Faye Baker on there earlier? No, I, I don't I think so. It's just, there was Adrian Barbeau. Yeah. That's uh, um, Kathy. Kathy. Yeah. George Foreman. 
Is that uh, uh, Roy we Rogers? At, we could just look at slides all night. Roy Rogers on the left there? Yeah, it's Roy Rogers. Look at that. Yeah. Uh, hey, look, there's Frankie Jimmy Valley. There's Jimmy Darren there. Is that Jimmy Darren or, uh, or is it? Frankie, 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 Frankie Valley. Avalon. Avalon. All right. And then wave it. At <laughs> <laughs> there's Nipsey Russell and a Bobby. It's right there. There's Sir Richard. Sir Richard and his Flugel Knights. All right. See, I, I know if we do too many like slideshow things, we're not going to actually have any music tonight. Yeah, no one's going to. Well, we need something to distract from that blazer. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> we're going to do number 14. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, Mark Vischer, as you uh, might have been able to tell on that last tune, I wasn't listening too closely, but is a, a very skilled flautist. And lucky for us tonight, he brought his flout. And so we're going to ask him to uh, play flout on this song, and we're featuring him on this song of ours that we uh, lovingly call The Boy from Altadena. Fisher on the flauta reading. <laughs> Thank you very much. You know, I'm very fortunate in my life that I get to play with some of the best musicians around. However, tonight, um, I would like to... Now, I'd like to take a moment to introduce these fine gentlemen on stage. Over here, on the playing the B3 organ, well, almost the B3 organ, over here, Mr. Dave Siebels tonight. On the big old bass back there, that is Mr. David Miller. <laughs> On the saxophone, a man who needs no introduction. On the drums, Mr. Matt Johnson right there. What's well, because your name is right there, Mark. You can see it. It's nice and clear. We'd like to do an old French tune for you. This is a song that uh, Edith Piaf recorded and made famous, and uh, we are going to do our little version of it. This was written around 1950, and uh, it comes from France, and so we're going to play it in French. <laughs> 
on the Campus Jack's piano, Dave Siebel.
Tony Guerrero. Mark Fisher on the tenor saxophone. Dave Thank Siebel's you. on the brand new Campus Jack's Grand Piano. And David Miller on the Arco bass. Yeah, Mills. I'm gonna call an audible now. Well, we, I guess they're all audibles because I don't have a set list. But I'm gonna do a song that we don't normally do and um, Mark and I are not gonna play on it. And I'm gonna ask uh, that we feature Dave Siebel's on the mighty organ over there with a song called Back to the Chicken Shack. But you have to promise you use that sound, that big fat sound you are doing in sound check. Mr. Dave Siebel. That's Dave Siebel's on the organ right there. Tickling the organ. That's not, that's not the right way to say that, right? No? Ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to now feature our drummer, Mr. Matt Johnson, on a song from the Duke Ellington Band. This is called Caravan.
Matt Johnson. Johnson, 67. Just spilled my drink. <laughs> that does not make me happy. Matt Johnson on the drums. We're going to do number seven, uh, 67 in the hymnals for those of you who brought your hymnals with you. And for those of you who brought your harmonicas, we are in the key of F. And we ask that you please do not play them. This is a song by one of my uh, favorite musicians of all time, the great Chuck Mangione, who uh, came to prominence in the 1970s um, and kind of kick-start the whole smooth jazz movement. But back in the 1960s and early 70s, he was writing um, some big orchestral, beautiful songs and this is one that was part of one of those albums, and this is a song called She's Gone, which is just such a beautiful melody, and I've always assumed it's a very sad song, but I realize that it could be a very happy song depending on who she is, right? <laughs> so this is Chuck Mangione's She's Gone. <laughs> and it goes like this.
Tony Guerrero on the flugelhorn, Mark Vischer on the tenor saxophone, lovely solo on Chuck Mangione, She's Gone, my favorite, Mark. No, I'm wrong. Do we have any fans of the Broadway stage in the house? Anybody? Anybody besides our bass player? How about, if not, uh, since it appears we don't have many, how about fans of the show West Side Story? I don't see anybody. <laughs> did you guys, did you see the movie? Have you guys all seen it yet? I, I won't give it away. 
it's oh, well, we kind of know how it ends, but yeah. <laughs> it's it's just now streaming on Disney Plus, I think. So oh, it's a it's a beautiful movie. I was really like many, I was worried that they were gonna ruin it in some way, and it's. I dare say it might even be better than the original. Oh, those are. Those There's are, a lot of lot of sentiment attached to the original, of course. It's lovely, but they did some really great things in this one. Glad to hear it. One of the things they did not do was what we are about to do, which is take a bunch of their beautiful songs, cram them into a medley that sucks all the beauty and meaning right out of them. They didn't do that. And had they done something like that. I would have complained, and then you guys could have reminded me, well, Tony, that's exactly what you did with your West Side Story medley, is you ruined a really good thing. Yeah. <laughs> so we'd like to play for you now our West Side Story medley, which means it's a bunch of songs from West Side Story. So you don't have to Google the word medley. Yeah. Please, 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 no gang fighting during the song.
Look at that's Tony dancing on the escape. Uh, uh, what do they call that there in New York? Uh, fire fire escape. escape. I knew there was some kind of escape, but what's really happening is that girl's escaping from him. <laughs> and now the slide escapes. That's a whole different story. We were playing, the, Tim, I don't know if you have that one slide ready that I sent you, but we were playing that song at a venue in L.A., and um, I, I often close my eyes uh, subconsciously or unconsciously while I'm playing. Like, sometimes I don't want to see what people are thinking. And uh, my eyes were closed, and when I opened them at the end of the song... Uh, this guy, if the slide's there, this guy happened to be standing right in front of the stage, and it's maybe not there. Anyways, George Shakiris, who played Bernardo in the original film, was standing like right there, just staring at us like it, it was weird for him that he walked in while we were, oh, is that it? Oh, really? It's tiny. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> there we go. There is. That's my sister on the right over there, but we, she was there also. And so, he, Did he show that you great? This? He, yeah. looks, he looks amazing. He's like, I don't know how old he was there, but he's like close to 80 now, right? And that was only a few years ago. Doesn't look much older than you. Yeah, that's actually kind of depressing. Huh. <laughs> All right, story time is over. Actually, no, story time is just beginning because we're going to tell the story now, without the lyrics, of course, about a mass serial killer because they just don't write enough good songs about serial killers. And this is a favorite of ours, and I'm sure one you like and have never realized how horrible the lyrics were. And so we're not going to do them for you, but this is a song called Mac the Knife.
Thank you very much. We, uh, I was looking through the, set li or through the song list and uh, this title caught my eye because we used to do this a lot and we don't do it anymore, but it's another beautiful tune and we'd like to do it before the night is up. Um, unless you want to stick around for a few hours and we'll do it late at night. No, that's not going to happen. <laughs> this is a song from a great show called uh, Kismet and this is a beautiful tune called Stranger in Paradise, which many of you will know, but you may not know that this song was actually written not for that musical, but written back in the 1800s by a composer named Borodin, and they took music from his compositions and put it into this show, Kismet, and that's where we get this song and uh, a few other great songs from that show. This is Stranger in Paradise.
Isn't that a pretty song? Written in the 1800s. Speaking of things from the 1800s, let me once again introduce the band with Mr. Dave Siebel's over here. <laughs> oh, you can hear me. Okay. Dave Siebel's on the organ. Mr. David Miller on the bass. Over there on the drums and on the cymbals, Mr. Matt Johnson. Over there on the saxophone, wearing a suit made from the interior of a 1973 Volkswagen Bug. Sorry. Not thinking straight. Mr. Mark Vischer right there. All right, we'd like to close it off with this, is, this song, which is uh, kind of our, our normal farewell song to send you off in, in hopefully a good mood. And uh, we do appreciate you being here with us tonight and hope you'll continue to support live jazz right here at Campus Jacks. Why do you keep doing that? Oh, that's my, oh, that's where I come in. Got it. Oh, my mic's not even a second. Gotta set up my When you do that, I'm going to come in with the melody next time.
when you're smiling. I could, could you hear them singing? We're going to try it again just to make sure. Just so you know, you're supposed to sing right there, right? Just follow the annoying guy. When you're smiling, when you're smiling, the whole world smiles with you. Yes, when you're laughing, when you're laughing, the sun comes shining through. Oh, when you're crying, yes, bring some rain. Stop your crying, you have me again. Oh, when you're smiling, when you're smiling, yeah, the whole world smiles. The whole world smiles. The whole world smiles with you. Thank you very much. Once again, Mr. Dave Siebels, David Miller, Matt Johnson, Mark Fisher. My name is Tony Guerrero. And uh, thank you for being here at Campus Jackson, supporting live music. And one more time, here is Mr. Terrence Love. As soon as we play this ending part of the tune. Got it? By the way, y'all check out the sign from the old Steamers Jazz Club hanging in the corner there. Tony Guerrero, Tony Guerrero Quintet, Mark Fisher over there, Matt Johnson, David Miller. David